Angel, could you please bring me that? Uh, yeah. Oh, yes, just a moment. Let me check. It's Friday night. I know it. Friday night at this time? Elderfield. Um, yes, well, we can do it then. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry, our Saturday night is complete. Wednesday night for two? It'll have to you be got Friday. It. Friday at seven? Thank you. The name? Okay. Uh-huh. Got it. Thank you very much. Angel! We're hit. <laughs> Congratulations, boss. You, you. You know what? We're booked up for the next three Saturdays, solid. And did you see this? Come over here. I want to show you something. Look, 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 look. This review couldn't be better if I wrote it myself. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know that. I told you. I told you the I opening know. would be a smash. I know, and it was. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. And you know, Felicia being here made it all that much more perfect. And you know what? what? With Robert showing up, it made it even better. <laughs> didn't hurt. Didn't hurt. Oh, boss, come on. Come on. I told you he wouldn't miss the opening. Come on. I mean, I, I, I didn't get much of a chance to see him, though. Well, he couldn't stay long, Angel, because he had to go to the hospital to be with Sean. Oh, well, that's, that's understandable, well, of boss. Of course I mean, that's understandable. I, I, I look, understand. I didn't mean to say that. I, I, I meant, know you didn't mean to listen, meant, Angel. I, I know that Robert has his responsibilities because I have my responsibilities, too. I understand that. It's fine with me. It is absolutely fine with me. Hold on. I'll get it. Thank you. Della Fields. Uh, what, what day? Saturday. Oh, I'm sorry, we'll book Saturday. Well, things could be a lot worse. Even your nice room here. Lots of gadgets. Flashing lights. According to this, it says you're alive. Hmm? I know for a fact you've slept in worse places. Reminds me, talking about sleeping. I remember about seven years ago. I think it was, uh, where was it? It was Tangier. Yeah. And uh, you disappeared for a while. Then you came back and you had with you this big... Hi. Hi, how is he? Well, I've told him every bad Irish joke I know. He hasn't stopped me once. So nothing, then? Tip said he woke earlier and asked if we got the note. Oh, yeah. Did you find out anything about Desiree? No. How's Robin? She's all right. She really hates that police escort. It's a necessary evil as long as that woman's roaming around out there. Maybe none of this would have happened if he just told us about Faison. He'll tell us when he comes out of it. Faison. I wish he'd just disappear. He will. Soon. Very, very soon. New bacon, we got a new haircut, we got a new baby, and you ought to be back in bed. What are you doing? It's the middle of the morning, and I'm starving. Besides, I'm eating for two now, remember? Well, you always have, honey. Now, come on, back in bed. Let's go. Well, when do you expect me to get out of bed? Don't argue with me. This isn't good for the baby, this oh, kind of argument. Oh, no, you're like not going to be one of those stereotypical fathers-to-be who's always treating his expectant wife like she's made out of glass, are you? In your case, sweetheart, China. Being pregnant is a perfectly normal condition. Pregnant? <laughs> we're pregnant! <laughs> well, if we're pregnant, how come I'm the one with the belly? Hey, when, when do we get to feel some movement, you know? When, do, when, when can we tell it's you kicking around? I already started feeling it. Really? Mm-hmm. This whole process is amazing to me. You know when I think this all happened? What? You know, when I conceived. I think it happened when we came back from Paris. Oh, yeah. Really? I remember that. We've been apart for so long, and you couldn't keep your hands off me? No, I couldn't. Dad. Oh, 
simple. Well, the last thing he is is simple, I guarantee. You should have seen some of the things that this guy did, especially when he had his little crystal in his hand. It was amazing. So all this time, you and Anna were trying to help him get back to, uh, what's the name of the planet? Lumina. Lumina. Mm-hmm. Boy, you leave town for a week and you miss all the excitement. Well, it's better you weren't here, you know. I was worried enough about you as it is. You knew all along that I was in Texas. Well, it was better for you to be down there with Mariah. She never told me that you knew that I was there. She never told me that you were pregnant, either. I didn't want you to know. <clears throat> well, I would have been there in a second if I'd have known about it. What about before you knew? Well, I wanted to come then, too, honey. But your assignment came first. No, I explained all that to you before, right? I've explained everything about that. I can't believe you joined the WSB again. Well, can you understand now why I did? I suppose tracking down an alien is a good enough reason. Honey, honey, sit down. I'll get it. What, what is it? What do you want? The butter. All right. It's a very good reason. I was told all my friends were in danger. I had no choice. You could have told me. How could I have told you? How, how am I going to explain this whole situation? You'd have gone through the roof. You wouldn't have believed me. Well, we promised that when we got married to each other again that we would never keep secrets from one another. Right. <clears throat> and I'm sorry because I broke that vow. But so did you. I did not. Yes, you did. You were in Port Charles, you didn't tell me. And you stayed at Colton's house and you didn't tell me. Oh, you can't compare what I did with that and compare it to the WSB. Okay. Well, let's just... Let's just say that we both did what we thought was right. Hmm? We both broke the vow. Right. But there is one vow that I promise I'll never break. <laughs> vow that I'll love you for the rest of our lives. I promise. I think I will, too. Now, would you eat? and feed everyone. Go on. It's there for you. I made it. Okay. So tell me about this guy, um, Sean Spoon Island. What's his name? P.K. Sinclair? Mm-hmm. You think he's the one that tried to kidnap me? I think so, yeah. Why? Well, I imagine it has something to do with me going back into the WSB is what I think. Oh, so that's why you had those two loser WSB agents to protect me while I was at my grandmother's. You figured out they were with the WSB? Sure did, and they weren't very good agents either. They could even, they couldn't even stop me. Well, don't think you're going to get away with anything where it comes to me. You understand that? What do you mean? What I mean is this P.K. Sinclair is still out on the loose someplace, and as long as that's happening, you're going to do everything that I tell you. You understand? I thought you said Robert said everything was safe. Well, that's what he said. You don't believe him? I don't know what to believe. Robert's been a little strange ever since this guy's been in the picture. Why? I don't know why, sweetheart. It's a very good question. Thank you so much for seeing Michelle last night. Did he wake up again? No. No? I think he should have by now. Is something wrong? Well, what bothers me right now is neurological. I've ordered an EEG. What for? Well, we can see his brain waves, and hopefully there won't be any change in them, and then he'll wake up. And he will, Tiff. Yes, but for no other reason to pay me back for the rotten jokes I've been telling you. Right? Yes. <laughs> oh, hi, Chef. Hi. Um, Chef, this is uh, Monica Quartermain. This is uh, Chef Casey, huh. my new uh, reporter. Dr. Huh. Quartermain. You did. And this is... Uh, Mrs. Lavery, Commissioner. Casey. Well, I see you've already met them. Yeah, what are you doing here? Oh, that's right. Uh, you three are friends, aren't you? Yes. Well, it's fortunate then. You're back from your vacation just in time. What? Well, to see your friend. I mean, uh, it's almost as if you knew he'd need you. Excuse me, did you need me for something? Yeah, else? tonight's broadcast. Oh, that's right. Okay, well, uh, walk me to Sean's room and I'll talk to you about the yeah. I'll go with you. I can check on the lab or something. Oh, good, thank you. Listen, I'm really going to nail him tonight. Excuse me, Mr. Casey? Yes. Can I talk to you, please, for a moment? I'll catch up with you. Okay. Yes. Just what are you trying to imply? Imply? 
You think that I knew Sean was going to be shot? Oh, did I say that? You inferred it. Oh, no, 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 no. I just made some innocent comments about you returning you from your vacation. You don't make innocent comments. They were to me. If they have some hidden meaning to you. There's no hidden meaning. Then why are you so defensive? Because I think you are an arrogant two-bit reporter coming around here, finding out something that doesn't um, even exist, yeah, writing about Lavey. stuff, She's insinuating upset. something Sean with a friend of mine who is very are. sick. I do not she appreciate it. She doesn't mean it. to overreact to your pushy nature. But just, she's a little on edge at the moment. I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what did you do that for? <laughs> Why are you letting this guy pull your string? Because he's so bloody arrogant. He's also suspicious. And if he thinks he's going to strike oil, he's going to keep on drilling. You know what I love about you? Is you're always on my side. Not in your condition. You're not it's supposed just to. Just the breakfast dishes. I don't care what it is. You're not place. supposed to be doing any of this. No lifting. You understand? Those are the rules. Oh, great. Does that mean that I don't have to do the sweeping and the dusting and the waxing and the mopping? Honey, else? don't push it. Who was on the phone? It was the hospital. Sean's still unconscious. Oh. Well. You know, Sean, he'll do anything for a little attention, right? When I went to the hospital a while ago, he didn't look very good. Well, he just got out of surgery, honey. What do you expect? I don't know what I'll do if something happens to him. He'll be fine. He's such a wonderful person. Why would anybody try to kill him? I don't know. You never told me what happened. Well, that's because you don't need to know right well, now. Well, that woman sweetheart. tried to shoot you, too. And now, she tried honey, to don't get him. upset. It's not going to do anyone I any need good to know either. about this. I'll tell you what. When I get back, I'll tell you everything that you need to know, okay? Frisco, honey, Frisco. But I'll tell you one thing right now. I love you. Gotta run. Where are you going? I'm just gonna run a few errands, and I don't want you lifting anything around here when I'm gone, okay? Promise well, me Well, I want please. you to hurry back so you can tell me what happened. I will. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to say goodbye to the baby. Bye. See you later. You take care of your mother now. She's going to be a good boy. Uh-oh. If you've come back to check on me... Hey! Welcome oh. home! And there's a lot to see. Oh, yeah, you noticed, huh? Yeah, I couldn't oh. miss it. Oh, I'm so happy for you, folks. Oh, thank you. So where's the expected father? Oh, he just ran out. Well, I know we saw him on the way. My goodness. Well, come on in and sit down. Come on. Welcome so how's Frisco? Home. Welcome home. <laughs> I missed you. <laughs> Say hi, Felicia. Hello. Hello. Hi, Felicia. Hello, Lucas. I'm so glad he's doing so much better now. Oh, he's fat and sassy. He's perfect. He's starting to crawl already. Yeah, he's we're good. soon to be daddy, really. Oh, he, uh, he went to do some errands. He'll be back in a little while. You know what we've got to do? Go shopping for some baby clothes. Oh, that's right. right. You know, we could give her BJ's old crib, too. And a playpen, too. Don't buy a playpen, because they can and play together. And stroller, stroller. Okay. Okay. I d you know, Dibs on teaching her diaper changing. You got it, because I hate it. <laughs> That was the cop who's minding Robin. Nothing's wrong, is it? No, I like him to check with me every few hours. Uh-huh. Mm, great. Um, she really doesn't appreciate having him around. Well, it's a necessary evil at the moment until um, things get better. I mean, I'd like her to have a normal life, too. Yes, shouldn't you? Mm. Want some food? Well, no, I... Mm. My stomach's a little off at the moment. No, you should have some. Well, okay. not that in particular. You don't want don't to you have that. something covered no. in grease? Well, I want fries. you to live longer well, so you can make I, my life really the, miserable. Animal yeah. seed. Eat it. It's good. It's good for you. Ah, ah it's here, it. No, I don't want any more. When it's you say you're going to dip it in yogurt, are you going to catch it? You can put on it. No, don't do that. I'll just enjoy it. Have with yogurt. It's nice with yogurt. Food and yogurt. Yeah, have this. I'll eat it. 
Hmm. Take the whole fork. Can you hold a fork? Did we learn how to hold a fork yet? Hi. Hi. It's a surprise. Oh, hi. Surprise. Surprise. I'm just trying to get him to eat something. Good. I've been telling him how important breakfast is. Yeah. Did you yeah. get any sleep last night? Uh, a little. How's Sean? About the same. Do you know who shot him, or does anyone know who or why? Well, uh, oh, I... Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, but look, I'd like to tell you. I'd like... I look... Well, I don't worry about it. Kate, you I don't, don't want to keep to you in the dark on this. It's official. Look, if you don't want to talk about it, then you should just see not talk about it. Okay, let's not. You know, I had a really nice time last night at the... Right. Night. I'm, I'm glad you were there. Thank you. I yeah. appreciate that. And you know, the reservations are just oh, climbing. That's great. Great. Yeah. Right. 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 Perfect. Mm -hmm. So, are you going to come by a little bit later on, maybe for a visit? Um, uh, yeah, I'll, I, uh... You're busy. That's fine. Uh, I'll try. Sure. I'll try. Sure. No, uh, really. Whoops, whoops. Gotta go, gotta go. Uh, I'm sorry I interrupted, look, by the way. I'll, I'll, I'll pop by if I can. Whatever, really. sure. Bye. Really. Bye. Mm -hmm. Great. There's one more person in the world who's ticked off with me. Absolutely. Every time she turns around, we're with each other. Well, she should be used to it by now, then. No, she shouldn't. You are shutting her out. Well, I don't mean to, but I don't see any other way at this point. Oh. I really hate this, you know. Yeah, well, I'll be happy when the whole bloody business is over, too. Grab your food and let's go. You want this fruit? Huh? No, I'm kidding. Do you want this fruit? Thank you. Dr. Quarterman. Yes. You have beautiful eyes. Blue, aren't they? <laughs> no, no. They're gray. What about my no, eyes? No. Steel blue. What, uh, what information are you trying to flatter out of me? Uh, one step ahead of me, aren't you? Oh, I have to be. I'm busy. I want to know about this alien. Oh, now that story is completely ridiculous. It was all discussed in the press well, conference. Well, you know, I want to believe that. I really do. Well... Explained, it wasn't I... explained. Not thoroughly. Look, I am not much of a help to you. I only saw the patient maybe, maybe once. Oh, uh, Bobby? Hmm. Uh, maybe Bobby can help you. Did I just hear my name? You sure what? did. Uh, Bobby Jones is a Shep Casey. How do you do? He's new in town. He's a reporter, and he wants to know about the alien. Have fun. Oh, thanks a lot, Monica. <laughs> Uh, well, Mr. Casey, I hate to disappoint you, but mm. I was the nurse in charge of that case, and mm. the man was definitely not an alien. Mm -hmm. You saw him a lot? Every day. Mm. It's funny. What? You look a little like him. Not quite sure what it is exactly, but hasn't anybody told you that before? Mm. Not in so many words. Mm. Listen. Could I ask you a few more questions? Actually, I'm very you know, busy. You have though. beautiful eyes. Hazel, aren't right? they? No, no. <laughs> kind of chestnut. They're brown. No, they're brown. brown. Yeah. Has there been any change? No. I thought sure he'd wake up by now. I don't know how long is he going to be out like this. Well, I can't say. Well, don't you think, you know, like the longer he's out, the, the more dangerous it is? It's, uh, it's not good. No. Monica, there's got to be something you can do. Isn't there anything at all? Well, Tiffany, we're monitoring him very carefully. I got the results of the EEG back, and they're negative. Well, that's good. I just don't understand why it's taking so long. He's not coming around. He's not doing anything. Well, it could be lots of reasons. One... Reason could be determination. I don't understand. The patient has to want to recover. Well, of course, Sean wants to recover. Why wouldn't he? I'm back. Well, How are they? Absolutely perfect. Barbara Jean's now making cookies, aren't you? Oh! one, Daddy? Yes. <laughs> Which one? Monkey or a cow? I'll take a cow and a monkey. Oh, I love clay cookies. Thanks for keeping them. Uh, Any time. <laughs> oh, I better take you, hadn't I? There you go. Go to bed. Oh, look at that. You can hardly wait, can you? <laughs> no. <laughs> Are you scared? Yes, but I'm very excited. I just wonder what it's going to look like. Hey, with you guys, this baby will be terrific. I just hope it inherits our good traits. 
As opposed to what? Thanks. Well, we have a lot of faults. Is anybody perfect? Yeah, but ours are doozies. Yeah, there's no perfect child been born yet. Almost. And no perfect parents. So you just love your child no matter what. Well, don't I like to think I have some kind of influence over it? Well, you do. You can teach them right from wrong. And you can give them a good sense about themselves. But other than that, you have to remember, this is an individual. And he'll be what he's going to be. I hope I'm going to be a good mother. Oh, you will be. You just have to stay flexible. And you have to remember that you can't make a child anything that the child doesn't want to be. Just like adults. I need more cookies. And more tea. Look, I realize your frustration here, but I'm just... sick of what he is doing to us and to all our friends. I'm tired of it. Yeah. 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 Bring him in. Maybe we'll get some answers. Not more questions. Sit down. I already told you I know nothing about the shooting. What more can I say? Let's talk about your employer. Why not ask me directly what exactly it is that you wish to know? What are you doing here? Shaka is an important employee, and I'm here to offer him my assistance. I told them everything I know. The point of this interrogation is to find out about another one of your important employees, Desiree. I know nothing about her. Do you? I told you I don't know. The charge is attempted murder now. Do you want to be an accessory in on that? I know nothing about the shooting. I was tying her up, and the next thing she knocked me out. I can show you the bruises. I could care less. Now, I'm looking for a woman with a gun. I don't know where she went. I swear it. I believe you, Shark. What a guy. Get him out of here. What charges are you holding him on? None yet. Hey. I'm developing a nice little fat file on you. Pardon me? Suspicion of uh, black marketing during the Vietnam War. Suspicion of being a Viet Cong spy. Those charges were never proven. Give me a minute. You're in my backyard now. There's no reason to intimidate Shark. Yeah, or me. It's a lot of fun, though. Well, believe me or not, but we do have the same gold, Robin. Oh, bet. Yeah, I'm just as anxious as you are to see Disarray brought to justice. Really? Well, one of these days we must talk about that. Yeah. But uh, the point is to make sure nothing happens to Robin. You I leave my daughter out of this, all right? I shall look after my family. I was only trying. I don't care what you're only trying to do. Now get out of here. I'm sorry we didn't have a chance to talk. It made my day. Well, believe it or not, Anna, but we are on the same side. Mr. Scorpion. There's an ashtray outside. Oh, he is playing such a game with us. He is dangling our past over our heads like this. I thought I'd made a deal on that. What a fool no. I was. We're going to have to handle him so carefully, like the little. All I care about right now is finding his valuable employee. She's left town. She's got to have. To leave you alone with him, I doubt that. She'd be crazy if she'd think I'd hook She's up. She's crazy, period. Might be crazy enough to hurt our daughter. Take that back. I can't help but thinking about it. Look, maybe I should bunk in with you guys for the next few days. No, you don't have to do that. Yeah, but it's going to make me feel better. We have police protection. You shouldn't do that to Catherine, you know? Family business. Okay. I can take care of Robin and myself, you know. Yeah, but can uh, you take care of me, too? <laughs> Whatever. But I can handle this. See you.
Frisco, it's just that we're booked solid for tonight. I said I'd be there, okay? Fine, fine. First set around nine, okay? Well, whatever you say. Is Felicia coming? Uh, no. Oh, how's she feeling? Oh, she's fine, she's fine. She's just taking it easy. It's a good idea. How about Robert, is he coming? I doubt it. Yeah, you sound like you're a little frosty with him right now. Uh-huh. Yeah, you could say that. Mm -hmm. Well, that makes two of us. Really? Well, I'll tell you my gripe if you'll tell me yours. No, it's... It's nothing. It's just the usual stuff, you know. Look, I gotta go, okay? Thanks for calling. I'll talk to you. Bye-bye. Who was that? It was Kate. What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing's wrong. Honey. When you went out a little while ago, you looked very worried, and now you don't look any better. Come here. Sit down. We have a few things we have to discuss. What do we have to discuss? Well, honesty, trust, our marriage. Secrets have to stop today. I wanted to tell you about going to see Robert. But you didn't. Felicia, you're pregnant. You it's wouldn't a... have told me even if I wasn't pregnant. Well, can I help it if I want to protect the woman that I love? Do you really think this guy, Pekin Sinclair, is a threat to me? That's my gut feeling. And the way Robert's acting. I mean, he knows what the hell has happened to our relationship, yet he's not doing anything to help me. And he is helping you. By shutting me out? That's how you tried to protect me. All right, fine, I'll back off. No, no, I'm not asking you to do that. The whole reason I didn't want to tell you about the situation was because I didn't want you to worry about it, right? Now that you know who P.K. Sinclair is, what his motives are, every time I walk out that door, you're going to be worrying. You have to find out who shot Sean, and I understand that. Robert can deal with that. I, I don't have anything to do with that. I'm out of it. No, I'm not going to make the same mistake twice, and I'm not going to let you do it either. What do you mean? You promised me that you would never rejoin the WSB, and you did, and that's what started off I the I only knives. did that because I had to. I don't have to do that anymore. Yeah. And I would be very thrilled if you never got involved with any kind of danger ever again, but you will. Honey, I won't. I have my music career. I'm working at the club now. I'm very happy But with I don't that. think that's enough for you. You like danger and excitement. And I think that's why I fell in love with you in the first place. It's also one of the reasons you ran away to Texas. Well, it's because you wouldn't talk to me. You wouldn't tell me what was going on. And, sweetheart, think about it. What if I had, huh? What, what if I'd have told you everything that was going on? What would have happened then? I would have been very, very angry with you. But going away from you made me think about a lot of things. It made me think that I married you because I love you and not because I want to change you. And that means accepting you for who you are. A person can change, though. Only if they want to, and I can't ask you to be somebody that you're not. So what exactly are you telling me here? I'm saying that you have to do whatever it is that you want to do. Are you sure you want to do that? Yes. Everything I have is right here. I just want it all to work out for us, all three of us. Hi. Thanks. Nice. Wonder where that guy is. What guy? Oh, my relief man. Should have been here an hour ago. Were you just calling the station? Yeah, I did. He hasn't even checked in yet. Well, you just can't walk out. Robin needs protection from uh, that crazy... Uh, no, it's fine. You've been here since dawn, haven't you? That's okay. I'm mm -hmm. here now. It's fine. You can go off. Oh, no, no. The commissioner ordered round-the-clock protection. Um, in fact, if I could just use the phone, I'll arrange for someone else to come over. Uh, can you use the phone in the kitchen? Sure. Thanks. Okay, great. Uh, I'll show you. Come. Okay. Hi. Hi. How are you? How was school, all right? Mm -hmm. uh, it was okay. Yeah? But it was... 
embarrassing. You know that policeman right there? Yeah. He followed me in to the gym. Oh, I mean, he watched you through the window, wasn't he? <clears throat> no. He followed me inside. Oh. It's very embarrassing. I shall have to talk to him about that. Yes. <laughs> well, don't worry. Yeah. It won't be long. It won't be for long, okay? Yeah, hopefully catch her soon. Yeah, they will. Good. So, what did he do? Did he, did he like... Wear a tracksuit or something? Or? Uh, well, what did he do? He had to like call the teachers and he ran around track. He had to be like right by my no, side joking, every right? minute. No! No, my friends were all laughing at me. That is ridiculous. Where does he think you're gonna go? Oh. John's injury, and I wanted to see how he was. And you're Mr. Who? Sinclair. Sinclair. Well, Sinclair, of course. I'm sorry. I didn't realize that you and... <laughs> Forgive me, how long have you and Sean known each other? Oh, for a long time. Very well. Hmm. But uh, I believe you would like to be alone with your husband. Well, I'll tell him that you stopped by and that you were very concerned. Thank you. You'll be happy, mm -hmm. no doubt. Good day. Good day. Well, why surpri surprised? Just didn't expect to see you. That's well, I said I'd try, didn't I? Huh? I mean, I did say I'd try. maybe you might have more important things to do right yeah, this way. I do, what and that's like why I'm here right now. <clears throat> How's about an intimate dinner for two? I'm working. Well, that's... Robert, I, I, Robert, I, a late dinner for two. Uh, maybe a book. Uh, oh. Don't go away. Yeah. What? When? Angel, right. No, forget it. I'll do it myself. Yes. Oh, okay. Great. What? The night duty cop hasn't shown up over to Agnes. Well, well, well. Where are you going? Well, I can't leave him alone, I well, Robert, you have an entire police force. Yeah, but this is my daughter and I'm her father, and besides, yeah. this is partially my I fault, and I... It's your fault? How? Well, well, uh, um, it's a little more involved. Oh, then I can you can go. tell me. Besides, I understand. Uh, you, yeah. Katie, 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 mm -hmm. Katie, please, help me just a little bit longer. It won't always be like this, I promise, oh, sweetie. Go, get away. I... I'm sorry, you can't go. But You're I... gonna rest. That's your job from now on is resting. I wanna get out. I wanna get out and do something. Well, then tomorrow we'll, we'll go to the park, okay? I wanna go to the club. Now, sweetheart, no, come on. You can't go to the club. It's noisy there, it's smoky, it's not good for you, and it's not good for the baby. Okay, you have a point. Huh. I'll go to the club. Thank you. Gotta go. Not tonight. Alicia, I'm telling you, no. I'm not sick. Pregnancy is a perfectly normal condition. Women have babies all the time. Well, I'm sorry, but this one's a little different. Huh. Because it's ours, that's why. Okay. No more fussing over me, all right? I'm fine. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. I gotta go. He did it again. Did what? What did I do? You kissed me like I was going to break. For a pregnant girl. Do you still think that I'm uh... sexy, gorgeous, and wildly exciting? Do you? Come over here, Slim. Champagne. Okay. I also want to find out what the situation of the tequila is in the bar. Oh, okay. Can I make sure we have enough? Mm -hmm. Another couple on the, the first table. Did they oh, get their drinks? Sure. I'll give them. Okay. okay. Sure. So where's your star? What? Uh, Frisco, isn't he singing tonight? Um, the first set doesn't start until nine o'clock. Oh, me. geez, it's almost nine now. Oh well, wow! Why didn't you tell me? I could, could put a rose in my teeth and do a little tap dance on the piano. Well, hey, geez, I hope he doesn't show at all. So that was a great opening night. Thank you. Yeah, you really, you put a lot of yourself into this. It's obvious. Yes, well, I don't do anything halfway. No, I know that. I've seen you on stage. I've seen you play. You own that Everything stage. Right. You just, you, you own it. You. Hello. Hi. Nice to see you. Thank you. Own that stage. Thank and now you own this nightclub. I mean... Yes. Excuse me, just a moment. Can you tell me... Hi, how are you? Nice to Hello. see you. Hello. Hi, great. I saw that you were at the opening yesterday. Nice to see you again. How did you get from there to here? Persistence. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Hi. How are you? You know, oh, you just fine. Everything chose some wonderful. really difficult nice careers. Nice to see you again. Hello. Good, good to see you. Good Enjoy. See you. you chose some difficult careers. Well, I think of this as being the same as the music business. I'm still owning a nightclub and everything. Excuse yeah. me. Just a moment. Sure plays hell with your social life, doesn't it? It, Working it keeps me out of trouble. Yeah. Don't like to get involved, eh? As a matter of fact, I'm very involved. I'm engaged. Oh, gosh, yes. really? Mm. I'm surprised. <sighs> you're, mm. surpri you're surprised. You don't think that anybody would want to marry oh, me. God. No, 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 no. You're oh, surprised. No, you're surprised. No, you don't say You have offers coming out your beautiful ears. <laughs> no, I just meant that every time I see you, you're alone. Well, Chef. Maybe it's just because you haven't caught me in the right times, have you? Excuse me, excuse me. Daddy, you're staying over? Mm, all night. Really? Mm-hmm. Good. No more pops. Just me. You need to wear a uniform, though. Uh, Are you going to follow me all around school? Perish the thought. No, I mean, all the kids are saying that. I'm really weird because I have all this protection stuff. Well, maybe we can get you a tutor and you can stay at home. Hmm? Um, good night, Robin. Good night. Good night. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you're here. Me too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Excuse, excuse. Mm -hmm. I'll be in a second, oh. all right? Take your seat. <clears throat> Don't give her nonsense about a tutor. Well, maybe she'd be better off at home. Well, what are we going to do? We're going to have bars on the windows next, give her a bulletproof vest? I'll do whatever I have to. Yeah, well, I'm just very concerned about her emotionally. How? Because I'm trying to keep things as normal as I can. I don't want, I don't want her to be scared. I don't want you scaring her. Well, it's a scary situation. Yeah. Please, I just want it all over with. Yeah. Well, I'm doing the best I can. Did you find out anything about Desiree? Not yet. You think Clayson, you know... Might do her in? Well, wouldn't put it past him, but I can't prove that. He's really in control of everything. Well, I'm doing whatever I can at the moment to find some information. Anything that we can use on him. Um, don't let any of that out until Sean's better, okay? Why? Because... 
it's not easy to keep someone as big as Faison dead for so long. I think that there are a lot of powerful people covering up. You think Sean knows who they are? Maybe. That's why I say that we don't make a move until we know who we're up against. Do you see what I'm saying? I know what you're saying, but I just don't want this thing to go on for much longer. Well, nor do I. Is Catherine all right with you staying here and everything? Yeah, I'll deal with that. You know, I can handle Faison myself. I know that. You just don't have to, that's all. He's my problem, after all. Doesn't matter whose problem he is. Robin is the one that's suffering. You think I don't know that? Yeah. Good night, then. Yeah. Listen, whatever we do, understand, we do it together. Agreed? Yes. Yes. Are you going to be comfortable here? I doubt it. Good. Good. Good night. This towel's in everything. Thank you. Yeah. This is Charles Gibson, parent.